Automatic Tools app helps healthcare providers, insurers, and financial services by consolidating all the historical information about an individual into one portal, making it easier to provide personalized plans and policies for them. When you go to a person's profile, it shows their personality typology, which comes in handy later on in the social profile part of their information. The footprint shows the number of accounts which are connected. For example, this person has four social networks, four financial institutions, three bank accounts, four assets, four professional uh, backgrounds, one health and fitness app, two interaction and two public profiles. These last two indicate their uh, financial web search history as well as their uh, public sentiments based on their online behavior. The overall index shows us how much information we have collected about a person based on the information they have provided us, including their social network accounts and other professional accounts. This gives us an idea of how much potential premium a person can pay annually, as well as the probability of them paying. Over here, it shows 80%. The potential time of payment predicts the time when they are most likely to pay. As you can see on this graph, we uh, track when they are most likely to make payments. And uh, this comes around the 25th of the month. The last uh, part shows their most recent uh, activity when they paid the last premium. The personal section of the uh, profile just shows the most basic information about a person when they were born, what their mobile number and email address and uh, residential address is. It also mentions a nominee who will benefit from their insurance claims should anything happen to them. Over here it's mentioned as their brother. The documents provided are Aadhaar and PAN card. You can also link your um, voter ID, passport and driver's license. This helps us verify the information provided by you. The health section um, looks at the medical history of a person and helps us diagnose them better as well as provide better insurance uh, policies. You can upload and view medical records from this, in from this uh, part. You can connect to Apple Health, Google Fit, Samsung Health and Fitbit. The platform also asks you for basic uh, medical history as well as information such as your uh, height, weight, blood group, allergies, um, whether you've ever consumed alcohol, tobacco or narcotics and if you have any history of heart ailments, if you are handicapped or if you have any of these uh, diseases in your history, it will be able to better predict or suggest when your next uh, risk of disease is. It also takes a look at your family medical history because people who are genetically predisposed to certain diseases have a higher risk of contracting them. Over here you see a history of their previous surgeries and procedures. The device data is pulled from uh, the fitness app, which tells us how much exercise a person's been doing, uh, how many calories they burned. All this can be evaluated. Over here, you see the overall health index is 58, which is above average and means that they're, uh, uh, that the insurance premium that they will have to pay will also probably be lower. In the financial index, there, uh, uh, you upload a certain number of uh, documents such as your bank statement or insurance policy, salary slip, offer letter, and uh, you can also link your credit card and bank accounts. Over here you see there is one credit card and two bank accounts and also a selected account. 
uh, this graph shows us what the person spends most of their money on uh, based on uh, their bank statements as well as giving us a historical view of their transactions and spending history. The monthly income of a person is viewed over here and their savings is zero. The anomaly index shows us the flaws and glitches in a person's bank history based on their credit and debit. The assets which a person uh, owns, the liabilities which they have to pay every month such as mortgage, building maintenance, credit card bills and home loans, their investments uh, over time uh, showing the value of each uh, mutual fund or equity fund as well as the goal uh, value. <clears throat> the value of their assets over time uh, can be viewed in this graph over here. As you can see, the value of their property appreciates over time, whereas the value of their car depreciates over time due to age and wear and tear, and their stocks depends on the market value. In device history, you can see the number of devices they have bought in the past. So their spending potential is seen as high because they are most likely to invest in newer devices more often. Based on the devices used, you can also track what kind of browser they use the most. The overall device index is 53. As mentioned earlier, the interaction index looks at a person's financial web search history. So we pull data from their online searches, mobile searches, cookies, and browser data. As you can see over here, the person looks 90% at health insurance policies and 10% at car policies. So this helps us provide more uh, personalized and customized insurance policies for a person based on what they're interested in social data this part has uh, the person connected to various social networks as you can see over here there are four social networks which they have linked uh, us to facebook twitter linkedin and instagram this graph shows us how much a person uses each website uh, linkedin being the highest percentage this graph shows us social activity by hour of day, which is highest at 9 to 12 in the uh, morning to noon, and the highest social activity by day of week, which is on the weekends. The personality traits, which we saw earlier in the profile, um, is based on the Briggs Myers personality inventory, and it shows us the most uh, number of uh, traits that a person uh, possesses based on their answers over here in the uh, interest section you can see what the person is interested in based on the most uh, posted topics or what they like to talk about most online other life events and activities that we can draw from social media are when people started working or left various jobs when they bought new car whether they like to travel often or uh, when they spend most of their money or when they're most likely to spend money and when they like to go out usually. The professional part shows us the educational and work history of the person and uh, this also helps us uh, ensure them in many ways. Uh, over here, you see the uh, education history and this graph shows that 80.3% of their education has been complete. Um, the timeline shows us a chronological history of uh, the person's work uh, based on when they started a new job and how long they spent at each company before moving on to newer jobs. 
The individual rating is based on the person's uh, work and professional history, whereas the company rating is based on the company's industry ranking. Based on this historical information of the person's uh, work history, we can tell you their chance of investing in uh, stocks or mutual funds, which is 60%, as well as their chance of buying financial products, which is 65%. The additional information is if a person is occupied in a hazardous job such as mining or construction uh, or factories or anything uh, like the armed or police forces where their life is at a higher as is at a stake then the insurance premium that they pay is higher public data shows us the person's uh, sentiment analysis based on blogs and news and media which we find on the internet about the person so this person's sentiment shows neutral which means that the people uh, who have seen uh, their online activity have neither reacted very negatively nor very positively to their uh, online presence and that brings us to the end of the tools app. Thank you.